We're back now, and we're talking about cyber abuse at the hands of other teens through social networking sites, text messages, and emails. Three teenage girls were charged with disseminating child pornography for texting nude photos of themselves to their boyfriends. Everyone has these photos of her. Somebody hacked into her profile on Facebook. Some of these teens may not realize they're really being stalked by their boyfriends. Texting. Facebook. He's always on him. It's really hard to deal with. The Ad Council asked us to help curb teen dating violence. When we started talking to kids, we found that teen dating had gone digital and abuse had followed. We had stumbled on a huge problem that had no laws and no defined boundaries, a problem no one was addressing. The more we talked to teens, the more we realized they wouldn't listen to adults preaching at them about such a personal subject. So our strategy was to develop a campaign that empowered teens to decide for themselves what is right and wrong. The result? was That's Not cool .com. Because we wanted to reach teens where the abuse is happening, our campaign was centered in the digital space. The website acted as a hub for conversation and was supported with an integrated 360 campaign. The site experience at That's Not cool .com begins with interactive videos that educate teens about common problems from both a boy and girl's point of view. I can't be away from my girlfriend for 10 minutes without her texting me. I'd never had a real boyfriend before. You think you could get her to send some nude pics? Is she messaging him? I feel pressured. What's he thinking? What am I supposed to do? Click A, B, or C. Then they can decide for themselves how to handle things. C, send her pics of my junk. Yeah, that's it. Take it off. Get nasty, you nasty apple. I think when you talk about things that are bothering you, it makes it a lot easier to avoid problems like this. Popular YouTube celebs created their own videos to show kids they're not alone. I think we should break up. Forums provided a place for kids to talk, give advice, and share their stories. And we gave teens tools to do something about the problem. Call-out cards could be sent to a partner's phone, email, or social network to gently say, you've crossed the line. In outdoor and print, teens could snap a photo with their phone and send it to someone who was pressuring them or making them feel uncomfortable. And for anyone who needs serious help, there's a place to find answers and chat live with a professional. With a digital platform in place, we invited teens to join the conversation with advertising like web banners, social networks and YouTube, TV. Wakey, wakey. L.U.V. love you. Holla back. Holla back. Nude pics. Send me some. Radio. I'd rather not send you nude pictures. My webcam is broken. Nudity makes me vomit. Outdoor and print. And a mobile site. The campaign helped start a conversation in the media about the problem with feature stories in the New York Times and on the Today Show. The Ad Council hopes its website, That's Not Cool, will get teens to realize what is inappropriate behavior. In the few months since its launch, the site had over 300,000 unique visitors, over 28,000 call-out cards sent, and almost 200,000 video views, most of those by our target audience. More and more teens are joining the discussion, deciding what's right and wrong, and creating a new set of rules in their own terms. With a little help, they're dealing with one of the most daunting problems facing them as they grow up in the digital age. Turns out, if you give teens the tools to start a discussion, treat them with respect, and get out of the way, they'll take it from there. That's not cool. Dot com.